Hi friends. So today we're gonna try and answer the question, what do humans need to stay healthy? We're going to be doing a yoga activity uh, later on. So what I want you to do is you're gonna watch this quick video that I found that tries to answer that question. What do humans need to stay healthy? And then we'll talk about it after you watch the video. So go. Your body can do all kinds of things, but to keep it working at its best, you need to look after it by staying healthy. Being healthy helps make sure you feel good and means you're less likely to get sick. It helps you do more fun activities and it may help you live longer too. So what can you do to be healthy? Well, you can eat a good balance of all kinds of food, including plenty of fresh vegetables and fruits. You can drink lots of water and you can do lots of exercise to make your body stronger and fitter. Another way of staying healthy is good hygiene, which means keeping clean and washing off germs that can make you or other people ill. Some germs like to travel on your skin. Some will travel through the air. Others prefer dirty surfaces. But simple things like washing your hands before you eat and after you use the toilet will help stop germs getting inside you and making you ill. Last of all, you need plenty of sleep because this is when your body recovers and grows so you can do even more tomorrow. All right, so now that you watched the video, let's review. So the first thing that the video talked about that we need to stay healthy is eating healthy foods. So we need to make healthy food choices. Um, I'm gonna send a link to a food pyramid so that you can explore that with your family a little bit more and you can talk with your parents or your grandparents or your aunts and your uncles Whoever's at home with you, you can talk to them about what healthy choices might be for you. So the second thing that the video mentioned was physical activity or exercising, right? So we're going to do that today together. We're going to do some yoga uh, in just a couple of minutes. So yoga is, it helps you with stretching and breathing and it's um, kind of a mellow activity that I thought would be good for you to do inside your house while you're at home um, on your device. So watching the video, it's an easy thing that you can do just with some empty space around you. Um, but what I would like to do in just a minute is do some warm up before we start our yoga routine so that we can get our hearts pumping a little bit fast. Um, because that's really important. That's called cardio when we have our bodies moving super quickly and our heart rate comes up. That's a cardio exercise. So the third thing that the video mentions is wash, washing your hands, right? So we need to make sure that we're, uh, we're noticing when we touch things and uh, that we might get germs on our hands, so we need to be washing our hands as frequently as we can. So especially before we eat and after we use the restroom, right? So those are three ways that humans can stay healthy. All right, so let's start our cardio exercise. We're gonna start with 10 jumping jacks. Are you ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some side rotations. So we're gonna go like this with our arms, and we're gonna rotate our bodies side to side and really stretch our arms and our core muscles, right? So we're gonna do that just a few more seconds. 
and then we're going to go right back into jumping jacks. Are you ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. You're doing great. The next thing that we're going to do, some stretches of the arm. All right. We're going to stretch our left, or sorry, our right arm over to the left. Hold it with your other arm and get a nice good stretch. It's kind of stretching your back too. All right. And we're going to stretch out our shoulders. We're going to hold it on the other side. So now we're using our left arm and our right arm to support it. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to do our last set of jumping jacks. So you ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. And if you're out of breath, kind of hold your hands on your head and take some nice deep breaths. And just, you can walk around or just stand in place. And let your heart rate come down a little bit. And then we're done with our warm up. Hello, friends. All right, let's do some yoga. So you're going to start with your feet right next to each other. And then you're going to just bring them a hip width apart. So they should be even with your hips. So not spread too far and not together. All right. So we're gonna make sure our feet are firmly planted. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna practice breathing in and out. Nice big breaths. We're going to bring our shoulders up to our ears as we breathe in, and then we're gonna drop them as we breathe out. Yoga is about just being in the moment, and focusing on your breathing and getting nice good stretches. Okay, so we're going to do that three times where we bring our shoulders up to our ears when we breathe in and then we're gonna drop them as we breathe out. So let's do that. The first one, nice big stretch, hold it and drop them. So that was one nice big breath. Let's do one more of those. And hold it and squeeze, squeeze your shoulders up and drop. All right, this next part, we're going to move our head backward and forward slowly. So we're stretching our neck in a slow way. in slow motion. Do that a few times. Make sure your feet are still a hip width apart and firmly planted. All right, now we're going to do a similar thing with our neck, but we're going to move it from side to side. So we're going to go left and right. out our neck. Just a few times. And now we're going to rotate our neck in a circle. Just like this. Kind of loosens up your neck and your shoulders. So just keep going around in a slow circle with your neck. You might want to shake it out and get a little silly, shake out your shoulders and shake out your head, your neck, shake it out, get a little silly. Or you can do some, some structured and slow shoulder rolls, right? You just want to get the shoulders and the neck to have less tension. 
loose, right? So shake it out, shake it, make sure your feet are firmly planted as you shake it out and that there's still a hip width apart. We're gonna take our arms and bring our elbows to a bend and our hands together at a point. So you wanna try and make your elbows as straight as you can. It's okay if they're not perfectly straight. You might need to straighten your back a little bit, but you're gonna push your hands together nice and hard. Push them, push, push, push. And then you're gonna release down at your sides, but a little bit away from your sides with your palms facing away from your body. And this is in something called mountain pose. Think of your head as the top, the tip top of a mountain and your arms reaching down into the ground. And you wanna push your chest forward. You wanna kind of puff out your chest and your feet are firmly planted into the ground like the bottom of a mountain. And just breathe and relax. And as we're in this mountain pose, we're gonna breathe in. Awesome job. Now shake it off again. Shake it off. Make sure your feet stay planted on the ground away from each other. But shake, shake the rest of your body, all right? Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our fingers, our hands together like we did before, but this time we're gonna bring them up, bring them up. But also I want you to see, you are gonna interlace your fingers just like this with two fingers pointing up. We call that the steeple grip, because um, it's like a steeple. And you're gonna put that right above your head, and you're just gonna lean to the left. Hold up for a second. And then you're gonna lean to the right. And you're gonna hold that. And let's do that a couple more times. You're gonna lean to the left. right and then you're going to point up like a rocket ship and then you're going to blast up you're going to jump like a rocket ship and then you can bring your arms down to your sides roll those shoulders keep your feet apart might be a little tricky, but I don't want you to get frustrated. Um, I just want you to take it as easy as you can and just hold the pose for as long as you can. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our mountain pose, feet apart, palms down, and we're gonna bring one foot up and bend the knee. So we're gonna do that with our left leg first. So we're holding this pose. And if you can, look at something in front of you. Either uh, if you're looking out a window like me, I'm looking out a window, I'm gonna focus on the little leaves on the tree to try and help me balance. Or you can look at a spot on the floor if that helps you balance a little bit better. You're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds. And just breathe and see, you might move a little like me, and that's okay. But we're gonna practice our balancing. You can breathe as you do that. You can breathe in, and you can breathe out. And then we're gonna drop that leg. We're gonna give ourselves a second. We're gonna our feet are apart, bend your knees a little bit, and then we're going to do the same thing with our right leg. Bring your foot up and bend your knee so your foot is just right behind you, straight as you can, and 
and then you're going to hold this pose and again focus on something if you need something to focus on so that you can hold your balance a little bit better find an object maybe your family member is sitting at the table in front of you and they have a piece of lint on their shirt um, you could stare at that piece of lint. I know it's kind of funny, but you can stare at anything you want and just hold it. And now we're going to drop that. We're going to come back to our grounded pose on the ground with our feet firmly planted. And if you are struggling with that pose, something you can do is you can uh, keep one hand near your heart and hold your foot with one hand and practice balancing that way. We call that the flamingo pose. I'm trying to show you a little bit better. So you hold your foot and you put your hand up, your heart up straight and you hold that pose. And that might be a little bit easier for you to do than the other one. There's another one as well. You can put your foot next to your other leg right there that pose. That one's a little bit challenging for me, but some people prefer that one in yoga, so you can hold that, right? Okay, so let's try one of those poses uh, to hold on each side for about 30 seconds each. So let's go back to our left leg, put that up, and this one I'm going to try and do the, the pose that's like this, and that's actually called the tree pose. So I'm going to try and hold that. 30 seconds and I'm just focusing on a leaf outside my window and I'm going to try and balance. It's a little tricky and it takes a lot of practice to be able to balance for a long time and if you feel your start, yourself start to fall to one side, you can use your arms to help you balance. Okay, so we can drop that one. And now we're going to do the other leg. So for this one though, I'm going to practice holding it like a flamingo. And I'm going to hold it with my hand. And my other hand is going to be on my heart, just like this. So I'm going to hold that. And we're going to breathe as we're doing this. Focus and breathe. You can focus on breathing by just yourself in and out. Okay, we're going to drop that pose. And I want you to give yourself a nice big pat on the back. You can do it with both hands, almost like you're giving yourself a hug because you just bounced for about a minute. So good job. We've come to our last pose. So what we're going to do is this time our legs have been apart this whole time, but now we're going to bring them together and we're going to put, we're going to make our hands into fists, just like this, so you can see. We're going to make them into fists and we're going to put them at our side. And then with your chest, you're going to puff it up and you're going to look, put your chin up a little bit. And we call this the Superman pose or the superhero pose. Um, because we're puffing out our chest and we're standing firm just like a superhero. So you're going to do that. And you're going to inhale or take your breath in through your nose. And then you're going to breathe out through your mouth. So I want you to do that three times. Okay, ready? Let's go. And breathe out through your mouth. All right, two more times. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And then I want you to shake it, shake it, shake your whole body and you can shake your legs Stretch those out. You can even do a little ankle twirl to stretch out your ankles. 
and that was our yoga routine. You guys did it, I'm so proud of you. Okay, and if you want, you can watch it again. If you want some more exercise, you can watch it tomorrow, you can watch it whenever. That's the beauty of it being on YouTube. And I hope you really enjoyed this workout and I hope that you practice your balancing so that you can get even better. Bye guys.